typing your captions by hand, spending hours cutting silences and searching forever for the right click. But there is a better and a smarter way to do all these and speed up your editing workflow instantly, such as auto animated captions in just one click. Silences cut automatically without lifting your finger. And find the perfect clips, no more downloading, importing and animating manually. Now it's all possible with a tool, it's called Brevity. It's a powerful plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro that does the heavy lifting for you. So in this video, I will walk through step by step and show you how it can save your hours of editing time and make your workflow professional. So without wasting more time, let's dive in. First, you will need to download the Bravery plugin. To get a 7 day free trial and 15% off, you can check it out under the description link. After installing this plugin, open Premiere Pro and go to the window, extensions, open the Bravity and the Bravity Media Browser. Now let's generate animated captions. You can choose a caption from default presets or you can create your own custom presets. I have already made a detailed video on it, how to create and customize the caption presets. You can find the video in the description link. Alright, our animated captions is done with just a few clicks. Next, click on the media tool icon and select AI suggested media. Here you can generate AI suggested videos, GIFs, images and images. The AI will automatically find the suitable media file for your scene and add them to your timeline. For example, let's create AI images. You can choose which type of images to use. I will choose the Google Images. Next, select the position. I will place them above my captions. You can also add additional context about your videos. Then choose the emoji animations. Intro, Constant and Outro. For the intro animation, I will add the fade up intense effect. For the constant animation, I will leave it as none. For the outro, I will use a simple fade animation. Then click on generate. And there you have it. The AI suggested the appropriate images that match your captions. And if you don't like some of them, you can simply delete any one. Now just click on import pending. And the images will automatically appear on your timeline. You can adjust the timing to sync the perfectly with your captions. And you can change the animations and positions of the emoji at once. Simply select all images layer. Then go to the Bravery Media Browser. Choose a new intro and outro animation. Then click on insert. The keyframes will be added automatically for the animations. Pretty easy, right? This is only for people who want to be top of the world. Doesn't matter if you are a beginner or expert. We all have something to learn and we are in this together. The first 30 people will get free one-on-one -on -one guidance with me for one month. So what are you waiting for? Join the winning team and let's rule the world. If you want to add more emojis, you can do that manually. Let's add a book emoji over the captions where it's a learn. Click on the new button and select the emoji tab. Let's search for books. Click on it then choose the position of it. And select the in and out animations. And I would like to keep the animations same as our previous emojis. Now move the time indicator where you want to place it. Then click on insert. You can adjust the duration and click on update. We all have something to learn and we are in this together. Now let's see how to add stock videos. When I say top of the world, here I would like to add a stock videos showing the success or people cheering something like that. Let's select this one and click on continue. For the position, let's make it fit the entire screen. Now choose the intro, constant and outro animations. Then click on insert. And that's it. Only for people who want to be top of the world. Doesn't matter if you are a big. Adjust the duration as needed. Then click on update to fine tune the animations. 
only for people who want to be top of the world. Doesn't matter if you are a beginner or expert. We all have something to learn. Let's say another one. While I said we all have something to learn. This one looks good. Oh, one more thing. You can choose the footage resolution according to your sequence. Then choose the position and animation style. And click on insert. We all have something to learn. Let's add few more footages. This is only for people who want to be top of the world. Doesn't matter if you are a beginner or expert. We all have something to learn and we are in this together. The first 30 people will get free one-on-one -on -one guidance with me for one month. So what are you waiting for? Join the winning team and let's rule the world. Using the same process, you can add GIFs, images and emojis. You can also add animated emojis. Let's add an animated emoji. When I said, what are you waiting for? Here, I would like to add an animated alarm clock. For one month. So what are you waiting for? Join the winning team and let's rule the world. The final step is adding sound effects. Let's find a whoosh sound effect. To add this sound effect to your timeline, select it and move the time indicator where you want to place it. Then click on continue. Adjust the volume level and sound gain, so it doesn't compete with your voiceover. Now let's add a clicking sound. This is only for people who want to be top of the world. Doesn't matter if you are a beginner or expert. We all have something to learn and we are in this together. The first 30 people will get free one-on-one -on -one guidance with me for one month. So what are you waiting for? Join the winning team and let's rule the world. And that's all for brevity. From animated captions to AI system media and sound effects, everything is just a few clicks. Download brevity using the link in the description to start your 7 days free trial and get 15% off. And if you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more creative tips and tutorials. I will see you in the next one.